Uh, I'm supposed to join this prisoner transport here. I guess they're going to the court uh, in downtown River City. So we're supposed to join this and they're going to court. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of them. I guess it's like some sort of like mafia or something. Um, so many of them. And it's crazy. I thought I thought we weren't even going to have enough. But the bus surprisingly holds lots of people. Um, if anyone's confused why we're using these this dirt path we have to create like a diversion or something because we're just trying to take like all the back roads we can take especially with a prisoner transport of this value it's going to be kind of crazy Oh my god, what just happened? Okay, oh my god, there's shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Panic, panic. Alright, shots have been fired. Alright, they are literally lighting me up. Oh my god, I don't know who these people are. Hey, uh, officer, get back, get back, get back. We have other, we have units, we have units heading our way. Get back. They have guns. It looks to be a mafia. They are just lighting this. They're just lighting this place up. I don't know what their intentions are. All right. I don't know what's going on. Yo, they're all hopping out of the bus. They're all hopping out of the bus. They're all hopping out of the bus. We have a few of them left. Hey, prison uh, corrections officer, wake up. Please wake up. Driver, wake up. Wake up, wake up. All right. You guys are very, very smart not to uh, run or run away from these okay hold hold down the bus hold down the bus this is very risky to be on here i'm getting off this is very like very very risky all right my god they just like cut the bridge off or something how in the world did that even happen they must have like cut the bridge off or something hey did we see who like all i saw was a black van i don't i don't know entirely what's going on i saw like a black van and i don't i don't know like I mean, yeah, they ran off. Half of our prisoners just escaped from the bus. I don't know what you want me to do about that. Half of our prisoners are gone. All right. Uh, Liberty County Sheriff's Office, huddle up. Huddle up over here. LCSO, huddle up over here. All right. We're going to need to call more units in. We're going to definitely need to call more units in, okay? Um, we have a prison break, basically. Uh, we have... All we know right now, we have a black van that... Um, escaped the black van did whatever they did to this bridge to make it literally collapse um and then we have our prisoners i saw some of them swimming down the river so if any of you want to patrol down the rivers that would be amazing i can stay here help up uh the fort obviously like i was assigned to i'll make sure everything's squared away over here communicate 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 within the radio uh, we need to find them i think there's about four of, i think there's only four of them um from last time I checked, we had four prisoners sitting in the front of the bus, the front half of the bus. So we're looking for four prisoners. I can get an official head count and send it to you on the radio if you guys need. Yeah, um, just we got to go now before they before they get away. Um, you guys can call in whoever you guys need from Elsie. So you guys can call in SWAT detectives. Um, just uh, good luck on your man. I'll, I'll join you. I'll join you in a minute. All right, open that and get all the prisoners out. I want you guys to detain them and go ahead and put them in the van. Because um, the van is... Well, we only have, what, like five of them now? Yeah, just put them all in the van if you guys are able to. Because it's our only choice right now. Looks here like they decided to break all of the beams. I shouldn't even be standing up here. Looks here like they decided to break all of the beams. Uh, they broke that beam, that beam. I don't know how they cut that beam. I don't know. I heard like a little buzzing in the distance. I didn't think too much of it. Like they were like hiding really, really good. Oh, note to self. Never use the wooden bridge again. Never use the wooden bridge again for any type of anything. I, the wooden bridge has always, always been like a, it's always been a hazard. Like, I don't know why this thing's still even in the city. It's been here for years and it's not clearly not stable. 
Right, so it's uh, getting a bit late out here. Um, so I'm going to help assisting with LCSO and RCPD to help find these escaped criminals. Um, I really, really need you guys to pack it up here. I mean, we got, okay, the transfer van's trying to come out now. The bus is uh, currently abandoned um, and stuff like that. So just clean everything up here. Um, corrections officers, I, I trust you guys. Um, you, sir, just make sure everyone's not injured. Um, treat anyone, anything like that. Um, close off the bridge as well. I know that your guys is doing as well. You guys are going to close off the bridge, if I'm not mistaken. The rest of the prisoners will be transported to back to the prison, I, I assume, yeah. All right, yeah, LCSO is getting a search here in the housing suburbs. Uh, we have some LCSO units down um, at Spring Lake searching. We have some by the highway and near the mountains, near the waterfalls. Um, we got some of the detectives doing doorstep interviews, I guess. Well, we're just searching right now, and we just need to make sure that uh, nobody here is in an orange jumpsuit. That's all. I mean, there's a possibility that they're... They change, but I doubt it, unless somebody's helping them. As far as the people who broke the bridge, we're, we have some detectives on them. And, uh, I don't know, it, it's it's very weird. Uh, we're, we're thinking that they were connected somehow within, like, the mafia or something. Alright, so we got a drone unit here. We're gonna go ahead and fly some drones here. We're trying to figure out where this last prisoner is we don't know for certain if he's even in the suburbs but our sheriffs aren't really having any luck finding them anywhere else we have a mass search unit out right now all right there you go just take the drone from in here all right uh let's go ahead and deploy this thing let's see where let's see where it's at it's getting pretty late so we can actually use we can actually use the thermal vision so that is going to be very useful all right let's so we're looking for anything suspicious um hopefully nobody's running around here because i don't want to mistake somebody somebody else i don't know if we're gonna have too much luck who's that like a civilian walking down the street what is this oh uh, okay i think hold on, let me turn this off Yo, he, he, has a, he has an orange jumpsuit on. He has an orange jumpsuit on. All right, I found the location. Let me just stow that there. I found the location. I found the location. Um, what I'm 25, I found the current location of the prisoner. I need everyone to house number 7063. 7063 is in like the middle of the... Like right over here. Okay, I can't believe that worked. I don't think any of us would have found him without that. Where's he at? Where the heck is he at? Oh, he's right here, he's right here, he's right here. Sir? Sir, I'm not gonna say this. Go ahead and put your hands up. Get up, get up. Get up. Alright, no, face the, face the window. Face the window. Face the window. Officer, if you want to go in for cuffs, I don't think he's armed. He was like laying in the back of this homeowner's like patio. Okay, we got him. We got him, we got him. Just, it's about time. It is about time. Okay. Alright. What I'm 25 to dispatch. Final prisoner has been located. Transporting him to the corrections facility at this time. Okay. That was insane. Nice one. Okay. Thank thank Unit 358. Because w without him, we would not have gotten the drones. And I, we, none of us probably would have seen them. Because we're not obligated to search the grass. You know. Because we were literally searching grass. Like the... To find him, we would have had to search grass, and none of us is doing that. So, it's a good stuff. Um, he was really hidden, I know. One of us might want to, you know, knock on the door and make sure the homeowner is safe, and if they're even there, because... How do you fall asleep? I would imagine falling asleep after hours of running. Remember, we've been up for, what, five hours now? We've been searching for four hours. Um, the crash happened around five hours ago, so... I can imagine the amount of sleep, or, like, how tired that man got. Hello, detective. Uh, you called me here really late at night. Better be something important, because I was just about to head off shift. We've got a lead on the black van on the scene earlier. LCSO SWAT will take care of it from here. That is music to my ears. Thank you so much. Alright, yeah, because I was, like, stressing the entire day. Where did the black van go? Where did, like, you know, it was pretty, pretty bad, but... Yeah, okay, appreciate that. 
All right, well, good, good, because, I mean, I'm, I'm a nose, I'm a nosy deputy, so, I mean, if you want to spill some tea tomorrow, if you guys end up doing, like, a raid or something, I, I'm always here. I'm always here. Oh, I don't got to worry about that van anymore, which is really good. I can come into work tomorrow and share my story about the bridge collapse. I'm going to probably head back to the scene tomorrow morning, because I really want to, like, see what happened. I think they managed to, uh, I think they're going to take out the bridge entirely, I don't know right now. They managed to get the prison bus out there. It's got some bullet holes in there, but I think entirely it's gonna it's gonna get fixed, and uh, we'll have another prisoner transport. That court date, I guess, is gonna be uh, mailed a little later.